The left continues the tirades against President Trump. CNN's Jim Acosta pressing White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders Thursday. Listen to this. Does he, uh, does he value the First Amendment as much as he values the Second Amendment? Absolutely. The President is a uh, incredible advocate of the First Amendment. But with the First Amendment, you, know, uh, you have, to hold on, I allowed you to finish. Uh, with the First Amendment, uh, with those freedoms also come responsibilities. And you have a responsibility to tell the truth, to be accurate. A little pressure there. Media <laughs> Research Center President uh, Brent Bozell joins us now. What's your thoughts, uh, Brent, I mean, on that issue and also this continuing detestation, this contempt that's expressed so publicly for the president by the media? Yeah, it just won't stop. You know, in the month of September alone, here we go again, 92% negative coverage. It's been in the oh. 90s since he ran for, for president. It will not stop. Let's put this issue in its proper perspective. What happened was the president called for the Senate Investigative Committee on Russia to investigate the media. At first blush, you know, you don't like the idea of government overseeing um, uh, the, the press because it, it, is, it does violate the First Amendment. On the other hand, what you've got is the press that has been stating for months and months and months that there was collusion between the Trump administration and the Russians. In the report that just came out, they said it's not true. There's not one lick of evidence after yeah. all these months. Now, if you've got all the media suggesting the president was lying, now the president is saying maybe they should investigate the media lying. I think it's clever. Now, you know, this is extraordinary. Because you're right. For months and months and months, it was Russia, Russia, Russia. He's in collusion with the Russians. He tipped the election. And now there's a report. It, that's not true. Didn't happen. I'm yeah. not seeing that reported anywhere. Now, Fox has been doing it. We've been no. doing it. Everywhere else, they're not touched it. There's nothing new about Russians meddling in elections. This has been going on, documented for decades that has been happening. And by the way, the United States does it too around the world. I mean, these things happen. Uh, but the suggestion that the Trump administration, whether the president, whether Jared Kushner, whether General Mattis, whether you know Don Floyd, all these stories that have come out, we must underscore in the thousands of stories there is still not one scintilla of evidence. And yet they keep, you know, it's this drumby, drumby, drumby. So I think, again, the president is making a very interesting point to, that, to, to, to the press. Saying maybe they should be investigating your line. Please. And they're, and they're going crazy. They're Pound, going crazy. You're our pa table pounder, and we like it. Brent Bozell, thanks for joining us, Brent. We'll see you again real soon, promise. Thank All you, right. Stuart.